Calle Pontano is one of the best streets for tapas in all of Madrid, but it's not located in the center, so a lot of people miss it when visiting. Follow us along on an impromptu tapas crawl on Madrid's Calle Pontano to find out some amazing tapas places that you can visit when you're here. We're here on Calle Pontano for a little tapas tour. First stop is El Fide, and we got the ensalada rusa with uh, seafood in it. De mariscos, en sal de hierro, se de mariscos. Stop, like Becca said, because it was so good the last time we were here, and it's even like 100 degrees out today. And with the mayonnaise and everything, it's super good. I love the just fat big chunks of pulpo, the octopus in there, uh, the mayonnaise, the potatoes, a little bit of the vegetables in there. It really just makes the whole thing. It's definitely a place. If you come to Calle Pontano, you need to go to. So we just finished up at El Fide. Uh, it was delicious. Definitely a place you gotta go when you're on Pontano, especially if you like seafood. They had a ton of options, um, especially conserved, conserved seafood, I guess, in the cans behind there, which we didn't eat, but looked good. So we just tried to go to two different tapas bars, but they're both closed. Um, they both said they were gonna be open, but unfortunately they were closed, so yeah. we're on to the next one. Yeah, when you're in Spain, definitely do not trust the hours on Google. Luckily, Google didn't derail all our plans on Calle Pontano, as we ran into El Sainete, a craft beer bar with 10 different beers on tap. We opted for an IPA as well as a Dunkel. Both beers were fantastic and from small craft breweries right here in Spain. We just opted to drink the beers and then have the free tapa they gave us before heading to our next place, El Doble. We are at our third stop, Cerveteria El Doble. We just got the chips that they came out with, and some white wine. A really cool bar with these tiles. Um, I'll show you the inside in a second, but this is the outside. At El Doble, we just got Albarino, which is a Spanish white wine, and Chipirones Conservas, which is a preserved canned squid because El Doble is known for their seafood. That's really good. It's actually not too fishy. It has like the texture of calamari, kind of more like rubbery, and then like a very vinegary taste. Not salty, not fishy, but vinegary. It's good. It's good. I really like it. It's smooth and delicious. Dobles on Calle Pontano, one on the southern end of the street and one on the northern end of the street. They're the exact same and all of their food has market prices, so it varies a little bit depending on when you're there. All right, we just finished up at Cerveteria El Doble. It was really good. Um, there's some fireworks going on off of Calle Pontano, not sure why, but it's been a great tapas tour so far here, a little bit outside of the city center in more of a local place. Here are the fireworks. I think that's it.
So we're gonna head to the last place that was closed before. It's in a place from Asturias. It's a cidreria, so to hopefully try some Asturian cider and we'll see how it goes. Even though Google was wrong, this time we got lucky and cidreria Casa Gailin was actually open, so we decided to stop in. We got into the Asturian place, have our cider. Becca's got it right there. And our tapa. It's just off of Calle Fontano, but it seems like a place you should come to. Looks like they have great food. Obviously, we're not eating it. We just have, we're just gonna have the tapa and the cider. But just off of Calle Fontano, it sounds like a great place to come. Asturian cider is traditionally poured from a height, but they didn't let you pour it in your own glass. They did it for you. However, the cider was delicious, as were the free tapas. But I think we're going to have to come back here for the food, perhaps the traditional Asturian cachopo. We just finished our tapas crawl on Calle Ponzano. So we hope you liked it. We hope you enjoyed it. It's definitely a place to check out if you are in Madrid and looking for a place that's a little bit less touristy and a little bit more local away from the center. Make sure to check out our other videos about what it's like living abroad as an American as well as local experiences when traveling. And we'll see you over at our other videos. Bye.